So patch 1.1.0 is now available for you to download on console and PC. The patch notes are out. I'll link them in the video description. They're absolutely massive. But today, guys, I just want to cover the new uniques, the six unique items that have been added into the game. One uber unique and one for every class. And some of these are pretty incredible. We're also going to check out as well the seven new aspects. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So the patch of 1.1.0 has now arrived. Again, patch notes if you want to read through them all, I'll link down below. They're absolutely massive. I may bring you a video later on, but it's going to be like a 25 minute plus video. But for now, I just want to concentrate and talk about the new uniques that are added with this patch that are here, especially for season one. Okay, so we're going to start with guys, and this is the Uber Unique, the seventh Uber Unique in the game, which is super, super rare. Now, I'm going to pronounce this wrong because I can't pronounce things on a good day, but I believe that says the Arhavarian Sphere of Lycanda. This, again, is an Uber Unique item. It's a unique staff. It drops a will tier four only, guys. Okay, so this is what it does. Gain a random shrine effect for 10 to 20 seconds after killing an elite enemy. This can only occur once every 30 seconds. Like what? Developers note, uh, this weapon is an extremely rare drop. We wish you luck in recovering it from the armies of the burning hells. Again, yes, this is one of the uber uniques in the game, the seventh in total. Again, these are super, super rare. Not many people in the world I've got any of these, so your chances of actually getting this are kind of rare. Your odds are pretty low, people. But in regards to the uniques for each class, one per class, these are way more common. So we'll start with the Barbarian. And we have the Azura Unique Sword. This one. Look at here. Your core skills have up to a 20% chance to freeze enemies for 3 seconds and deal 0.75 to 1.5 cold damage to them. Not bad, not bad whatsoever. Okay, so onto the druid. We have Flesh Render. This is a unique one handed mace. Debilitating Roar and Blood Howl deal 0.5 to 1 damage to nearby poisoned enemies. Pretty cool, too. Not gonna lie. Okay, so Necromancer. This is my baby here. Okay, so we have the Lidless Wall. This is a unique shield. Lucky hit. While you have an active Bone Storm, Hitting an enemy outside of a bone storm has up to a 5 to 25% chance to spawn an additional bone storm at their location. Each of your active sacrifice bonuses increases the chance by 25% and a total number of additional bone storms you can have by plus one. Wow, but you know, people, those two handed weapons just make your build so, so powerful. Unless you're going for something specific here, this isn't one for me anyway. Okay, so on to the rogue, we have the eagle horn. This is a unique bow. Penetrating shot has a 30 to 80% chance to fire an arrow that bounces off walls and scenery. Hitting enemies from behind with a penetrating shot will make them vulnerable for three seconds. Now that's pretty cool. Okay, so lastly here we have the sorcerer and it's called the oculus. This is a unique wand. Gain the effect of the teleport enhancement for free. When you evade using teleport enhancement, you are taken to a random location. Wow. Okay, so developers note on a couple of these items. The Azoraf, which is the Barbarian Unique, and the Flesh Rend Unique, which is the Druid. These items have flat damage effects, which scale with power. For example, at 820 item power, Azoraf deals between 3359 and 6718 damage. Okay, so that is pretty cool people okay so now we're going to move on to seven new legendary aspects okay so universal ones these are across the board that can be applied to all characters okay so we have audacity this is a utility aspect when there are at least five close enemies stun them for two to four seconds this can only occur once every 20 seconds we then have craven this is a mobility aspect you gain 20 to 40 percent increased movement speed when moving away from slowed or chilled enemies now that is really interesting okay so we're going to move on to the barbarian here ancestral charge this is an offensive aspect charge calls for four ancients who also charge dealing 50 to 100 percent of normal damage wow druid subterranean this is an offensive aspect 
poison creepers active also cast landslide in a circle around you. Earth skills deal 10 to 20% increased damage to poisoned enemies. Cool. Okay, so we have Necromancer. This is called the Gore Kills. This is an offensive aspect. Blood Lance will consume blood orbs to also conjure lances from them. Each additional Blood Lance deals 20 to 50% of normal damage and prioritizes targeting unlanced enemies. Wow, pretty unique. Okay, so then we have the Rogue. Pestilent Points. Offensive aspect. Every third cast of Puncture is poison imbued with 100 to 150 of normal potency. Jeez. Okay, so lastly, guys, we have the Sorcerer. Searing Wards. Offensive aspect. After spending 200 to 100 mana, your next firewall is free to cast and will destroy incoming small missiles. Nice. And there we have it, guys. Those are the seven new uniques and the seven new aspects. Again, patch notes have not long been released. You can find them all down below in the video description. There's absolutely a ton of them here, guys. Uh, but if you do want to read them, make sure you do. But there we have it. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps. Uh, if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.